Hey there, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add your first panel to a website. So in the last few videos, I've showed you an intro to websites. We've added a global header and a global footer. But right now, there's no content on our website except headers and footers. I also want to remind you that even though this is real estate oriented, Every single one of these strategies can be utilized to build a website on any topic. And I actually build websites that aren't real estate related. So feel free for sure to stick with me because everything I'm teaching you can benefit from. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click the Cheetah website builder at thebestsitebuilder.com by Builderall. I'm going to let the page load up. And for a moment, I'm just going to show you something I'm working on. Uh, this is a work in progress. I actually want to do a just listed home of the day. And the button's not active. I would change, well, it's active, but I will change the words on that. This image was just a holder, but I want to actually do something like a just listed homes, home of the day. Click here, get some contact info, and then provide info on the property or schedule an appointment. Just something to think about. And of course, I'll be doing a video on that here sometime soon. Here's our test site right here. I'm going to click edit site. I want to remind you, we created headers and footers for this site. Now we're going to click edit the page. And you will see that the page is blank. So let's just give this second load up. It's a blank page. And we're actually prompted to add a panel to start building. Let's go look at a couple websites really quick. I keep going back to these sites. This is a header. This right here is a simple panel. This is a gray background with some text on it. This right here is a little bit more complex, but you'll notice it's just a gray background with some text, a little bit of animation on there, plus a big image. And here's one more with a background image, a box, and some text. So let's go back to our builder and let's add a panel. I almost always start with a blank panel, but that's not what I want to show you. I want to show you how easy it is to really build a website on any topic. So blank panel is pretty straightforward. You can add a blank panel. But see all these buttons right here? These are all options for you <laughs> to add panels to your website. I'm going to click on a couple of them. I'm going to click on first fold. I want you to understand first fold is what is seen when somebody first visit your website. Like this screen right here, this is first fold. It's what they see immediately. So I'm going to scroll down and look at all these options, right? Now what's really cool about these options is I could choose this one right here for a pizzeria, but then I could change the background image. So let's do that just so you get an idea. And then I'm going to circle back around and actually add a blank panel like I usually do. So I just add, click on it and it adds it. So give it one second to load up. And there it is. Let's do something else. Let's click return. Let's really scroll down here and let's look at a team. So let's say you had a team of people working with you. You just click it and all blank panels get added to the bottom and then you can move them around and there's an easy way to do that. I'm not going to show that in this video. Let's look at one more. Um, oh, let's look at landing pages. Now, this would probably be what you would add at the top, but let's click it. And right there, it just adds it to the bottom. Everything's done for you. You can change the images. You can change the text. You'll want to configure your contact form, which we'll do. Uh, but I just wanted to show you how simple that is. So let me delete the three panels that I built. Actually, no, let's delete two of the panels that I built and let's edit this panel. So if I want to edit the background image, I click on the panel, I click the little edit button. Depending on your screen resolution, you'll either have a little pop-up in the middle of the screen 
I tend to like to work with this option bar that pops out over on the right hand side. So sometimes if that's closed and you click edit, it will open the little pop-up editor. I don't, for some reason, it's just personal preference. I don't like that as much. So what I always do is I come over here and I click this and then I click edit. And then I just scroll down to background settings. And right here is the image. I can click change image. And then these are all the images that I have uploaded to my back office, right? So I'm going to click on this one right here. Or I could upload it. I showed you that previously. You could select file and you could upload it to your computer. I'm going to click save. And there's my back image. Now I could click on this text. I also want to show you one other thing real quick. All this text is on a box. You might not know that, but there's a transparent box here. There is a transparent blue, well, there's a blue line when I mouse over it. That means there's a transparent box. Anything I put on the box moves with the box. So I would be able to rearrange the stuff on the box, and then I can move the box if I want. So does that make sense? I hope it does. Now, if I click on the box, I did show you guys this, I think. Let's click edit the element. So it says box over here. Let's click background settings and you'll see the solid color right there. If I click it, this bar right here means it's totally transparent. Watch what happens to the box. It starts to change to not being transparent. So I could actually change the box and resize it like that, okay? Just to make it stand out a little bit more. Then to change the text, you just double click in the text and you start typing. So you could type in luxury homes and then you can delete the text that was there and just like that, right? And then one last thing is this button is configurable. So you can click on the button and see that little link right there. You can set the link. That's what happens if somebody clicks on the button and you could have it go to an external website. You could have it go to a page on your website. You could have it go to pop-ups, anchors, videos, downloads, your checkout, your email, your phone, and a whole bunch of other things. So there's a ton of options there, right? So now let me hit cancel. Let me take this bar, uh, panel. I want to always use the right words. This is a panel. These are elements. I'm going to delete it. That's fine. I'm going to take this panel. I am going to click on the panel, and I'm going to delete it. Now we're back to starting from scratch. I'm going to click add panels and I'm going to click blank panel. This is what I almost always do. Then I can resize this panel any height I want. I usually delete this text just out of habit. Again, just a, a, a process that I use. So I have a blank panel there. Then I make the decision what I want the background color to be and I can click on it, I can click edit. You'll see this pop up, see the panel pop up and I'll do it this time and I'll come down here to background settings and I could change the color or I could change the image. Oh, I was actually getting one off my computer. So let's just grab something cool, see what it looks like on there. Uh, I'm just gonna grab this image. Sometimes it's cool to test things. Sometimes things that you don't think will look good actually look pretty decent. Um, I'm going to hit save. And you know what? That's pretty cool. Um, now, I still don't have any elements. So see, it says, good job. So it said, hey, you added a panel. Now you have to add elements. So I can come over here, click this little menu thing over here. I can click add elements. And I could add anything I want. I might add a box. I'll just grab that box, throw it over. That disappears. I can resize my box. I can click add elements. I could add text. So I have pre-formatted these text sizes, which um, I'm going to probably touch on in a video here, but that's a pre-formatted H1. This is a pre-formatted H2. This is a pre-formatted H3. And I'm actually going to touch on it here. This is pre-formatted H4. This is pre-formatted H5. And actually, there is paragraph there. You can't see it, or it's at H6. 
And then here's paragraph. So you can pre-format all your text formats prior to building your site. And to do that, if you choose to pre-format them first, you can come up here in the top menu bar. There's a big uh, letter A. You just click on it, and this is where you can choose. So you can see H1. I can choose the font family, and you see it changed. See that? So you can choose the font family, and you can also choose sizes. And these are the sizes that will convey throughout your entire website. So when you make a change here, your fonts change everywhere, which makes this really awesome. And that is one of the reasons why I pre-configure my text prior to starting. Um, with that said, you know, your first website, you might not know that. You might not know the settings and everybody has different preferences and that's what makes it cool. Look at H6, right? H6, I have pre-formatted to white. You might not even be able to see it. If I click this and I click H6, you can see that I have the color as white and I can make it black right there. I can make it blue, right? And it'll change on the website. See it now? H6. So that is the basics to adding a blank panel. A refresher, what we did is we added a blank panel. There it is right there. I told you I tend to delete that. It's just not a habit for me. Then I decide what I want the size of it to be. So you just grab the little resizing handle down there. And then I click the edit button. And this time I'm going to open the side menu. I'm going to click the edit button. And there it is right there. And there's all these things you can change. Like I said, you can change the background color or you can change the background image. You can actually put a background video in there. So let me try this right now. Let me click on this. I can't remember if I have a video easily accessible. I do. And I'm going to click on this one right here. And I'm going to click clouds. So there's a cloud video right there. And I can actually select auto play. And that's what would actually be on the website. So let me hit save. Hit that's fine. And hit pre. Oops. And hit preview. Oh, I could have just went to the website. Let the preview load up. And that's a panel with moving clouds on it. I'll show you where to get videos like this. And I'll continue to show you lots of other things um, that can help you do this. But a uh, refresher. One more. Remember we had global headers set? That's the global header that we had set. Just remember, I am not saying that was a great header. I am just going through all of the functions with you. This was a panel. I just threw an image on there. I threw a box and I showed you how to format all the text. This was a background video that sets to play as soon as you visit the site. And this was our weak footer, meaning there's nothing really here except this was the 3D image on the footer. So this was the global footer. And you can see when you mouse over it, it actually has a little bit of animation. That's it. This was part four, adding your first panel. Part five, huh, I have it listed as master text settings. We just did that, but I'm probably going to retouch on that just so you have a dedicated video. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.